Hey guys, it's Mike here from Ad Badger talking about some updates to Amazon PPC, Seller Central ads, uh, which are definitely, definitely, definitely exciting. And there's some frustration wrapped up in there as well. But this video is about Seller Central retargeting, uh, specifically offsite retargeting. Um, and I have a couple points here. You know, I posted on this uh, on LinkedIn last week. This was definitely an above average engagement post for me. So this is something that definitely, definitely people are interested in understanding, getting a hold of. Uh, and in fact, when you search, you know, Amazon retargeting, uh, this is just in the last week. Um, you could see how many search results there are. So the, the people talking about Amazon retargeting is just going up and up and up and up. Uh, especially, you know, retargeting is available on Amazon. Amazon itself does some retargeting on behalf of sellers. Um, so this is definitely exciting. I mean, this is just, this is, this is really big news, making it very, very accessible to all of their advertisers, not just people on, you know, Amazon advertising platform or uh, AMG or anything like that, but actually making it self-service the way that it should be so that anyone can access and anyone can tap into. So, you know, Marketing Land was talking about it. Uh, Amazon retargeting to challenge Google, uh, Amazon expand sponsored products to external sites and all those things. So essentially uh, what this looks like. So I logged into one account today. I went to create a campaign, automatic targeting, manual targeting for sponsored products. It's still just like this. So for this account, I did not have it. I went and logged into another account. Here you see the difference under automatic targeting, right underneath it, remarketing beta. So first of all, I called it remarketing instead of retargeting. Uh, took a page out of Google's book. Google calls it remarketing. Facebook calls it retargeting. Most other people call it retargeting. But it says your ads will be eligible to show on third-party websites and apps. So my biggest note here is please mature this. Essentially what I mean is we should, in a perfect world, be able to create a campaign that is remarketing only so that you can see remarketing only performance at the campaign level. So you'd have an auto, auto campaign for your product, you'd have a manual campaign with the winning keywords for your product, and then you'd also have a automatic remarketing campaign for your product. So you know all the different levels of performance. In addition, it would be really fantastic if you could actually have a negative audience, meaning you have your automatic cold traffic campaigns are actually blocking the remarketing list as well as you have your remarketing list which blocks your cold traffic so that is a level of maturity that you can get from AdWords and Facebook ads but you just can't get from Amazon yet um, in addition being able to filter what sites you show up on being able to bid differently on remarketing so if you bid a dollar for cold traffic in your auto campaign then maybe you'd bid a dollar fifty on your remarketing audience so you know, the specificity of targeting, being able to target different people in different ways, being able to bid differently for different people in different ways, um, being able to control what you appear for. So there's gonna be different third-party websites that aren't optimized for sponsored product, sponsor products. There's gonna be apps that you're gonna appear for that might not be optimized for sponsored products. And currently, you just can't get the granularity, the, the optimization mix to go in and filter things out. So this is pretty big news, uh, being able to have it be a self-service um, campaign mode is really big, that you don't have to be on any of their sort of more specialized advertising platforms. You can access it right from Seller Central, right inside sponsor products, right inside your campaign creation process. But we need some more granularity. We need some more specification in order to take remarketing up a few notches. Um, so with that said, Please mature this, Amazon. I hope to get more and more options in Amazon over time. Things like day parting, bidding differently on Mondays versus Tuesday, hourly bidding, bidding differently at 2 a.m. than you do at 2 p.m. Um, this is audience management, still, still patiently waiting for it. So like all things, Amazon is just lagging a little bit behind where AdWords and Facebook ads are, but this is a good sign that they're gonna be improving. So. If you've been running these, would love to hear more below in the comments if you've been running these, what kinds of level of performance, how you've been handling with some of the uh, lack of control that we have. Would love to hear it. Have a good one. This is Mike signing out.